Hi, Miles and Martha Loss, your local real estate expert. Today, I'm going to talk about the fourth issue that sellers run into in a strong seller's market. And that's where the pre-approved buyer is really not pre-approved. So most agents are very good when they actually issue a pre-approval letter. It's a strong pre-approval letter. However, your listing agent needs to verify the pre-approval letter. The first issue you're gonna run into is you can't reach the lender on the phone. The LO is not returning calls, answering emails, and you can't reach them. That's a really bad indicator because when you leave a voicemail saying I have a contract on a property accompanied by a pre-approval letter from you, please call me, time is of the essence, I have a few questions, and they won't call you then to get new business and to get something under contract, it's going to be a real problem down the road when you need to update on the loan. So that's a bad news scenario. The second thing is you actually want to talk to loan officer. You want to verify very specific things. First of all, you want to find out, did they pull a tri-merge credit report? Now there's three bureaus that report. Some lenders, because they have to pay for each of these when they pull them, will only pull one bureau. You want to make sure that they pull all three because you could have an issue with something reporting on one bureau that doesn't report on the other two. It's not common, but it sometimes does happen. The second thing you want to make sure is that the lender actually takes a full application. Most lenders will do this. However, some won't because when you take a full application, it triggers certain laws and they have to disclose certain things, they have to send out documents, and some lenders don't wanna do that. You also wanna make sure that they physically verify the assets, the income, they see the pay stubs, they see the bank statements, they see the tax returns. This is important if the person is self-employed because they could tell the lender, oh yeah, I make $200,000 a year, then when you see the tax returns, they actually only report, say, 40000 after deductions, and that's a problem. So you need to make sure they verify that. The other thing is you want to make sure that they run the file through automated underwriting. That's a system where they pull in all the information that they've entered. They pull in the credit report. They pull in the debts, and they run it through a special computer program, and it'll give them what's called an approved eligible or eligible or a negative response, but you want to know exactly what's going on because if it's going to be denied, you want to know up front. The other thing you want to ask is you want to make sure um, that there's no contingencies that the buyer has to sell another property to qualify for this mortgage. I've seen this where the real estate agent, technically they're supposed to disclose this and they don't, and I find out when I talk to the lender. So you want to make sure that you actually verify that. You also want to have discussion about, now bear in mind, you can't ask questions like, you know, credit score, income, and so forth, but you need to have an open discussion with COVID going on and ask them, you know, are there any issues with, are they 1099 and your lender has an issue with that, or the funding lender will have an issue with that, or they commission-based income, have you verified the tax returns in relation to that, and make sure that there are no issues. But verifying the pre-approval letter is very important. Also verifying the proof of funds. So they need to bring, say, 100000 or maybe they're a cash purchase. You want to see an actual letter from the bank on the letterhead, signed and dated, with the borrower's name on it, showing they actually have the funds in the account, or you wanna see a bank statement with all that information, you just have them black out the account number so you can see that they actually have the money. But you know, but never take somebody's word on, oh yeah, they're good for it, they have the money. No, you wanna see it. Hope this helps, talk to you soon.